Hey everybody, welcome to Everything's Plastic. Today we have a Marvel Legends action figure review. And this is Baron Zemo from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier Disney Plus series. I think we all love this character in the series. And we all can't forget that infamous dance scene. So here's a closer look at the side of the package. We got Baron Zemo with his awesome mask on. Same artwork on the other side. And same artwork on the back as well. We have a quick little read up on the back that says Baron Zemo, the Sokovian Special Forces officer who targeted the Avengers, has been rotting in a German prison. But recent events will reignite him with a ferocity. If you're unfamiliar with this wave, it actually builds the wings for Captain America. The other figures in the wave are Scarlet Witch, The Vision, Loki, Winter Soldier, US Agent, Baron Zemo, and Captain America. We already did a review on Scarlet Witch and US Agent. If you want to take a look at those, I'll leave the links in the description below. That pretty much covers packaging. We'll be right back with this one out of package to get a closer look. All right, we have Zemo out of the packaging. He comes with this wing piece for Captain America, like I previously mentioned. He comes with an extra head as well. Pretty cool design to this one. Definitely gonna be displaying this one with his mask on. Comes with two extra fisted hands. Pretty cool design on these as well. Comes with his pistol. Pretty cool design in the pistol as well. See a little bit of detail in that. He comes with this book as well. There's a book that contains all the cold words to basically control Bucky Barnes, Winter Soldier. Not sure if there's an actual name on this one or not. Pretty cool design on this one. You actually put some black and everything else there, some weathering on it to make it look like a leather book. The star is a bit messed up. Overall still looks pretty good from a distance anyways. Let's get a closer look at Zemo. Pretty decent face sculpt. Uh, there is a likeness there. It's not 100% accurate, but still a pretty decent job. Not sure if the camera will pick it up or not. But for some reason his hair is purple with some brown highlights, which is kind of different, kind of weird. They did do an awesome job with his jacket. I do like the fur collar on his jacket. I think that looks pretty cool. And inside here, we have some detail on the inside of his jacket. On the collar of his jacket anyways. Be pretty cool if they actually painted the belt and the buttons just to make it stand out a little bit, just to break up the overall design. His belt buckle is painted. A little bit of detail on his shirt in behind here, which is pretty cool. We can see some detail in his pants as well. Not just a straight piece of plastic, but we do have some wrinkles in his pants that they did actually paint the buckle on his shoes and two little buttons on top of the shoes, which is a pretty cool detail. I like that. Let's see if we can get that jacket off just to get a closer look and put the jacket removed. It does require a little bit of effort, but so not a whole lot of detail. There is a few little wrinkles into his sweater, shirt, whatever you want to call it. So while his jacket's off, <laughs> my usual routine, let's go over articulation. So his head goes back this far, forward this far. You do have some side to side. You got your full rotation there. Shoulders go up this far. It is restricted by the design of the shoulders. It goes up this far and then it holds up on the plastic. Same thing for the other side. There is a full rotation all the way around. There is a bicep swivel. There is double jointed pinless elbows, which is great. Pretty decent range of motion out of that. Four is wrist articulation. Both of these ends go up and down and these here actually go back and forth. The wrists are restricted by his jacket. So you don't get a whole lot of range of motion out of those. And there is an ab crunch that goes back this far, forward this far. There's rotation at the waist here. His legs come out to almost a complete split. Go forward this far, back this far, so his legs are somewhat restricted. There is a upper thigh cut. You have double jointed pin knees, which you get pretty decent range of motion out of that. And his ankles go back this far, forward this far, so pretty restricted. And you do get your rotation there as well, like we get with all Marvel Legends. So overall, pretty decent articulation, somewhat restricted. Let's pop his jacket back on. So let's pop on that outer head sculpt, which I think looks badass. Definitely the way I'm going to display this guy. It is cool having an unmasked head sculpt as well. At least give us options. Let's pop his gun in his hand as well. The gun is pretty soft plastic, so it does take a little bit of effort to get this one in, but still looks cool. Just a couple of quick comparisons here. Here he is next to Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. If you haven't heard the news yet, he's actually coming back in Deadpool 3, playing Wolverine. Pretty excited, can't wait. Here we have him next to the Integrated 2 Spider-Man from Spider-Man No Way Home. And we have him next to this awesome G.I. Joe Outback, which is definitely one of my favorite figures. We can see that Zemo is pretty center size for a 6-inch Marvel Legend. Being taller than Tom Holland, shorter than Hugh Jackman, because Hugh Jackman is a pretty tall Wolverine. And we have him a little bit shorter than the G.I. Joe Classified Outback. So that pretty much wraps up our unboxing and figure review. Overall, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. It comes with a few accessories, which is great. Accessories always affect my score. I love getting accessories, especially for the price that we're paying for these. The overall paint application on this one is pretty decent. We have a little defect under his collar here. But other than that, everything else is pretty clean. 
Both head sculpts are fantastic, pretty accurate to how he was portrayed in the Falcon and Winter Soldier series. Pretty standard articulation on this one. Nothing really stands out, but at the same time, the only place that he's really hindered is his shoulders. So I think 8.5 is a pretty decent score for this one overall. Nothing really to complain about with this one. As always, let me know in the comments below what you think of my score of 8.5 out of 10. If you guys had to rate this one out of 10, what would you give it? And what do you guys think about the Falcon and Winter Soldier series? If you guys liked our review, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And that subscribe button is there as well if you guys want to subscribe to the channel. As always, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Keep collecting and stay safe.